Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to do a quick video on light dependent resistors. These are also known as photo resistors and are one of the main building blocks of circuits. As you can see there, there's just a little squiggly line and you know, it has two contacts and it is basically a resistor that reacts to light. They're made of um, high resistant semiconductor material and as the light increases, the resistance goes down. This happens because as photons are absorbed from the light, they give energy to bound up electrons within the semiconductor. And when enough photons have hit these electrons, they jump from their bound state to the conduction band and conduct electricity, thereby lowering the resistance. So they're pretty cool. Now this is a common one you're going to find every day, and it is made from cadmium sulfide. Of course, you're not going to find this in Europe, where the Removal of Hazardous Substances Act has banned cadmium. But here in the U.S., you'll still find them. Now, there are other materials they can be made from, like lead sulfate and uh, indium antimonite. I don't know how to say that. I ain't no chemist. There are even um, germanium copper photoresistors that are used for astronomy. So people always ask for a practical example or application for these. What are they used for? Well, they're used a lot in streetlights, camera sensors, light meters, astronomy, spectrometers, lots of different things like that. So let me show you how they work. All right, so we've got our LDR hooked up to the meter here in the resistance measurement. And you can see in the uh, ambient table light here, we're getting about 1K. Now, if I move this into a brighter light, you can see we've dropped down to about 290, 300 ohms. And then if I kill this light here completely, you can see we've jumped up to 35K. So we've gone by a factor of 10 just by switching a light on and off. So let me show you one of the most common uses of this. We're gonna make a simple night light. All right, I have our LDR hooked up here in a voltage divider with a seven and a half K resistor. Now the LDR is on the bottom of this and over here I have a 2N2222 NPN transistor um, the collector is going to 5 volts the emitter is going to this green LED and the base is coming off the junction of our LDR now if we zoom out you can see right here the voltage which is connected also to the base. And right now it's putting out 1.56 volts. I'm giving this whole circuit five volts. And if I move my hand, <laughs> there we go. Let me, let me swap the uh, voltmeter over to the other side here. Okay, so we can see it's putting out 1.5 volts, and as I slowly cover it, the light goes up. Now we're at 2.8, enough to light the green LED. I cover it more, we're up to 3.5 volts, and you can see how bright that LED is now. In fact, if I turn off this light here, we've already jumped to 2.2 volts, and then if I cover this, we can bring it up to well over 4 volts. So there you have a simple variable night lights circuit using an LDR and a transistor. Very simple building block that you can put into your circuits and it has all sorts of uses. And these things are, you know, 10 to a penny, dirt cheap. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.